Hi guys, it's Anna from Sabus. Um, today we're going to be talking about routines. Um, everybody is a little bit out of their routine right now with the pandemic, so we're just going to talk a little bit about why routines are important and how you can get one going for yourself. So first thing is, what is a routine? So routines are common tasks, chores, duties um, that you do regularly or at specified intervals. So that might include waking up in the morning, getting yourself ready for work, going to work, your work day, coming home, what you do after work. So maybe making supper, having a shower, going to bed, whatever that is for you. So routines are actually quite important for a number of reasons, which I've outlined a few on the board here for you. Um, so routines let us feel more in control. So what that means is people feel less uncertainty or stress. They don't feel so overwhelmed if they know I have five things to do today and this is how I'm going to get them done. So they also build productive habits, allowing us to get the things that we need to do done effectively. They also lower stress levels and improve our health and sleep. So in terms of this health and sleep, what that means is that you're taking the time to take care of yourself. So if that's meal prepping, if it's leaving time to go to the gym or for a walk, something like that, that's what that means. Um, in terms of sleep, uh, it's talking about going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time. Um, it is recommended that you wake up at your first alarm and do not hit the snooze button five times as tempting as it might be. So when you're creating a routine for yourself, there are some important things that you need to remember. So one of the things that people tend to forget is routines can be flexible. Things do not always go the way that you had planned. Sometimes things take longer to do than you anticipated and that is perfectly okay. You need to leave some time for yourself to be adaptable so if something does happen, it's not a stressful situation or not as stressful and you can deal with it in a positive way. You need to be realistic, so don't take on too much. So not everything needs to be done right away. This is about priorities. What needs to be done right now? What can wait? Is there a deadline? Those kinds of things are important. You also need to schedule time for the things that you enjoy. If you like to do crafts, if you like to go for a walk, if you like to read or play music, make the time for those things and for yourself. So as far as creating a routine, it's best to keep a, ta a list sorry, of all of your daily tasks. So nothing is too small. It includes even brushing your teeth. So if it takes you five minutes to brush your teeth, make time for that, take that time to do those things. Sometimes people find it helpful when making a routine to take a notebook with them and write everything down for a week or two. That way you're not forgetting things. Maybe there's something that you only need to do once a week and you have that and you don't forget about it when you are creating your own routine. Um, developing a schedule. Not everybody is a morning person, so they may not be productive in the morning. If that's you, that's fine. You can plan your routine for more things in the afternoon if that's the case. So just ask yourself, when am I most productive and when am I least productive? You also will need to reassess your routine from time to time. You should give your routine a fair shot, so that means about 30 days usually, but you can do what works for you. If it means only two weeks, do it for two weeks, reassess and change as you need to. So that's the basics on routine. Um, if you have questions or if you would like the information on the board, I know there's a little bit of glare, you can send me an email. My email is written at the top and the bottom here. So it's just Annalise at sabus.ab.ca and we look forward to having you guys back in group.